What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in yet again. So yesterday we did something that I would recommend from my videos of 2019. So instead of doing Kingdom Hearts today because it's supposed to be a three hour video, I've not got time to record the entirety of the three hours this week. So I'm going to do this, Kingdom Hearts is going to come back one after medium and all that stuff because I'm taking a break. I'm, I'm not taking another break but because I'm like in a new house and stuff, I don't have internet. I don't have a lot of data left on my phone to upload all these videos. So... Whatever I have left with the remaining data, I'm going to upload the videos I've done. All this week's going to be sorted. And once I get internet up and running, Medium's going to be coming up quick, quick and thick, thick and fast, all in one sitting. Xbox is going to be done, so we're all good. But as yesterday, as I did a best of 2019 similar kind of thing, we're going to do the same again with best of 2020 kind of thing. Same again, top five of the best things I have done, going from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is all good. Now that the intro is out of the way, let us move on to number fifth slot. This might be a lot shorter than yesterday, by the way, because I'm not going to ramble as much because short for time, time is short, stuff like that shit. So the first one isn't actually a game as such. It's more like a series that I've done. Um, I started this series, this archive series. I started this series obviously last year, but the game in question, the first one you're going to be seeing now, I actually did this back in two. 2012, I think, 12 or 13, it's one of those two, I did it with my friend, hence why there's two of us in the video of these videos, the videos are poor quality, because we had, we, we didn't have any like recording equipment, all we had was basically a fucking camera, like a, a camera recorder to record the screen, which picked up our voices as well, so there was the issue with that, so archive, the archive series, the first one anyway, which is about Project Zero One, even though we did it on the channel, it's still there. <laughs> We're going to have the archive series, which basically, the reason why this is a number fifth slot today is because it's more about, I want to be dead with the old channel. I don't want the old channel to be there. I'm just going to de debunk it, remove it completely after all the videos are removed from it. I'm going to bring up all the videos over on this side. So every time we take a break from something or after we've done a new game, after the series, next series of games, which is not going to end until March now. So we've got a little bit of break in April. We're going to take a break in May again after Resident Evil 8, maybe. I don't know. Breaks are going to be coming here and there. During those breaks, we're going to be uploading... A lot of the archive stuff in this year which is from um, Halo Reach but the reason why I've been uploading this is because obviously I don't want to have any of the other videos I want all the videos in one place so I'm not having two channels one's just there for the sake of it now which I don't know my friend anymore he comes over from time to time on this one we've done Fall Guys with stuff like that so they're gonna be more frequent as well hopefully more Fall Guys is coming in the future because I've got limited time but more I've made a goal for myself this year but archive game PS2 camera recorded on screen like it was i want to put them all on here so i would recommend going and watching them and see so you can see how far back it goes back from 2012 and you can kind of judge from wow did he get better at games has he gotten worse at games has he got better at youtube have i got worse at youtube have i'm just lazy as always i know the quality's changed because i'm usually using a camcorder that wasn't hd only 480 or 420 whatever it was called now i'm on hd hopefully i'm going to try and get a better um processor so i can have like not a computer processor more like a video processor so i can have better even better try and get the more hd or more 4k graphics which are going to be coming in the next few years so yes go have the archive series of watch so you can see me get scared in this series but more about how far i've come from doing it in 2012 so number five out of the way moving on to number four slot now so this is a weird one because this game actually came out in 19 98 or 99 something i don't know harry potter for the ps1 by the way uh, sorcerer's stone philosopher's stone wherever you were fucking from so stone of the sorcerer sword and stone so usually i wouldn't actually put a ps1 game such as this on the list of anything but the reason why i've done this is because it's it, it differs itself from all the other videos in one sense so back in the time my videos used to be called, this is, for example, I'll just use Kingdom Hearts. So this is Kingdom Hearts, Dream Drop Distance Part 10, fucking something about Sora or Riku. If I fucking name that now, I'm going to be laughing my head off. I need to remember that because that'll be hilarious in the future. In a few in a few weeks, might even get to Part 10. But so with it, every other series is like either this is blah, blah, part, blah, 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 blah. 
But now I've changed it to title. Like, say, for example, We Are the Saints, Saints Row Part 1. Stuff like that, you know, because I remember that title. But with Harry Potter, I changed it because every Harry Potter film is more like Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Chamber of Secrets. So when it came to doing this, I thought, you know what? Let's actually stick to that trope and name all of the series as like that. Hence why it's on this list, just because of the titles that I thought was a genius idea of, like, Harry Potter and the First Day of Hogwarts. Second video was, like, Harry Potter and fucking something, and one of the episodes was, like, Harry Potter and the Poor Giant, because he fucking nicked your money, and was like, you buy me these things for me, please, Harry, thank you very much, please, thank you very much. <laughs> one of those kind of things. So, I found, like, wow, I was genius in the titling of that. So I'm like, you know what? I think it actually is worthy of being put in the best vids of 2020 just from the titles alone. Probably not a good series to watch, but title-wise, I love it because it sticks with the Harry Potter trope and stuff, so it's all fan-fucking-tastic. So this is not about my personal preferences. This is more about what I would recommend that you watch because of based on some things like Archive, based on because it's from 2012, and it's just like a little look back in time of what I used to be like or what I used to do or what my life was back in 2012 and um, Harry Potter 1 in this case was more like hey title wise I actually thought it was a really genius idea and the future Harry Potter games down the line I'm going to be doing the same thing again so that's great so move away from number four moving on to number three all good stuff pretty good stuff so Lost Planet is a weird one because I wanted to get all the achievements in this game so I thought, fuck it, we're going to use a guide. Let's get all the tokens. Missed, all, missed some of the tokens, so that fucking shit went out the window. Right, fine, let's do it on hard. Boy, did I make a big mistake that day. So I know the internet loves people who get scared, who cry or rage a lot. And Lost Planet is one of those that I got so fucking pissed off because I've beaten the game. I don't know if I beat on normal or easy, but I've beaten the game. All right? So I started it on hard, fuck I can't do it on hard. And then I did it on normal or did it on something else. No, it was on stream and I started on extreme for fuck it, I can't do it on extreme, it's really tough. Did it on hard, I think I got past the first two levels, or maybe the first to start struggling on the second, so I thought, fuck it, I'm not doing it on hard. I'll do it on fucking normal. I think it was the moth on hard that fucked me over. That I decided, fuck it, I'm doing it on normal. End of not changing it ever again. And Lost Planet 2 saw the rage of me, technically, because, fuck. I've got ragey before, but not as bad as I've gone with Lost Planet. Like, rage in that game has been the second most rage I've got. The, the other two games, you've not seen this, because this was off-screen back in, like, 2010, maybe. Um, Prototype 1 pissed the fuck out of me. I destroyed two controllers playing that game. And Soul Calibur 4, which also pissed me off that I ended up breaking one controller. But that's the rage I've got in video games. I broke two controllers playing um, Prototype. And to this day, I'm, I am never fucking touching this game again. Got pissed off if like, have this back, I will fucking break it. And I do not want to buy you a new game because I hate it. To my friends, so I'm like, yes. So Lost Planet, if you like rage, Lost Planet's for you. So number two slot. Number one might not surprise you, but number two slot, Saints Row 2. So I know the way the series is listed this way. It starts in the same year, ends in the same year. So I would have done Saints Row last time, but Saints Row 2 this time around because Saints Row 1 and 2 are basically the same game. It's the same area, it's the same location. You're doing the same kind of stuff, basically. So number 2 is like a rehash of number 1, basically. Just a little bit better graphics and you can play as a female. And one of the reasons why my character is canon to be a transgender now, because born a male and then... In number two, she had a sex change. Male came out of prison, changed into a female. All that shit turned gothic from it as well. Did you see that in, a soul, in um, Saints Row the Third? Because we're going to stick to the female trope as well, which is grand. So yes, my character is a transgender in Saints Row. So I like the little diversity in there. I'm not always going to play, play as a male or a female. I do like playing a little bit of both in sometimes. I prefer playing as females. I don't know why. It's just one of those things I feel like they should have more power in games and stuff. So I like it. I like it like that. That's so why I've always played as female characters in Watch Dogs 3. But hey, Saints Row 2 was different because Saints Row the Third is probably my favorite Saints Row game, but Saints Row 2 was a very close second, probably to number four actually. Um, is a very close third or tied second with number four. 
just because yeah the storyline was a little bit the samey but you get to see more voice acting in number two so this is basically based on my experience with the game because i've never played saints row one and two before so my first experience playing number two was like wow and then i never experienced the reason why this is in literally number two slot is the one fucking scene with johnny Gap. Well, Aisha dies. Spoilers, by the way. Aisha dies, and then I think it's the Ronin. Is it the Ronins? It's not the Sons of Samadhi. It's the other guys. It's the Ronins, isn't it? The yellow dudes, because they killed Aisha and they came to the funeral. And Gat said, "Not the funeral." And then I've seen how dark Gat can get, and I'm like, "Fuck!" So. Saints Row 2 really did bring a lot of that fucking hell, what the fuck got kind of out of me. And I love that reaction. So it's mainly just from that one reaction why Saints Row 2 is in second place. And I actually did love Saints Row 2. Still need to do more of it, but hey, a lot better than number one. Not as good as number three, though. But Saints Row 2, good game. I will give it a good pat on the back because why the fuck not? Right? Saints Row 2, really good. So we've come to that point. <laughs> every time we do a best of it's always something related to kingdom arts apart from yesterday where we uh, put control in second place and actually put something about views in the first place but yeah kingdom arts 2 i did do a few kingdom arts games this the, last year i did finish two started them in 20, 2020 and finished in 2020 and most of it was in lockdown because of fucking uh kingdom arts 2 became a major major thing because um, the reason why I've put it so high in my team, I don't know what difficulty I played. I think I played it on Proud, and I beat it on Proud. I think that's what I wanted to do. So, hence why I changed. Like, I saw it on the PS4, continued it on the Xbox One, because it came out for the Xbox One. I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to record it on the Xbox One. I want some achievements. So I played it for achievements, and every time I finished a Kingdom Hearts game, I've not continued playing it and doing some of the extra stuff. But... This time around, after I don't know why from playing it on the YouTube, it got me really into it. And after I even finished recording it, I continued playing it for days and days and days. Like, I finished recording it, played it for hours on end. So this is why it's in the number top slot. Like, the me doing YouTube has made me fall in love with Kingdom Hearts 2 all over again at this point. I don't play it as much as I did now. I'll probably play it, like, I've probably played it once since that little fucking boost I had on it. And... There's a lot of shit that I've never did about Kingdom Hearts 2 or never learned. I was such a noob, probably even a noob playing the game. And then, like, getting some of the achievements and getting level, se um, like level 7 or master levels on some of the forms um, and all that crap and doing some of, like, the bonus contents and shit and getting the ultimate weapon as well. Kind of fucking love that about number 2. And... Jesus Christ. Um, so it's, like, more about fucking hell. I need to bullshit myself playing this game again it's crazy because i love i love i do love the kingdom Hearts series everyone should know who knows me i said it mentioned it yesterday i do love kingdom Hearts more than gold but um kingdom Hearts 2 number of reasons why it's number one on number one list just because i played it a lot after beating it i did some of the um the battles, the data battles, try to get all the chests. Um, a lot of the things I never did ever playing as a child when I was like in my teen years and now I'm in a, like 10 years later, I'm like, wow, falling in love with the series and really getting people to play the game again. I'm like, fuck yes, dude. I love this game. So it's um, it's crazy. It's crazy that I've actually managed to do all this and do all the some stuff I've done. Like, I beat Sephiroth now. Because of like I've been training and playing the game and learning some of the skills I have to learn, I've done one of the data battles. I nearly beat two, but one of the data battles, I'm like, yes, dude, I learned how to play the fucking game. So I do want to give a big, fucking huge thank you to YouTube and for myself recording Kingdom Hearts series, coming to Kingdom Hearts two and falling in love with it and playing it for how I'm supposed to do. Like you can play the main campaign playing it as a noob. But if you want to do the extra content, you've got to be a fucking beast at the game. And I'm starting to become one of those things. Like, I can do all some of the shit that people can do online now. Like, I can dodge roll. Dodge rolling is an easy thing. But I'm using some of my magic that I never, I've never, i always neglected. Apart from cure. So it's one of those things like, fucking hell. I never learned half of this shit. So I do want to give a big shout out to YouTube for helping me fall in love with Kingdom Hearts 2 again. Hence why it's in the number one slot. But hey, 
that is all there is for the best of the videos of 2019 and 2020. Um, the best of 2021 is going to be like number 18, where I'm just going to select one. Like, I'm going to start from the 1st of February, look at number one videos, number two videos. Like, always do a month of advance. So by the end of January 2022, we're going to do the best of 21. And be like, hey, look at this. I've done a thing. Are you proud of me yet? Yay. So I'm um, all going to do all the best of, like, all the videos and stuff. Some of them are an hour long, some of them are two hours long. So I'm just going to come out, pull out the funny parts or the badass parts or the fucking ragey parts and put it all into one thing. So... That's coming in 2022. The next best of is going to be in June or July time with the best games or the best new games of 2020 and 2021. Only new games only. I'm not going to do any more remakes and stuff in this next list, but all of it comes into sense and makes all good knowledge. I might do some honorable mentions as well to change it around again. I don't know. But either way, though, that is all there is going to be for today. A lot shorter than yesterday because I'm not rambling. So enjoy the rest of your day. I won't. I will be back next with the medium because internet and Xbox and stuff. So yeah, but as for now though, this is Rick's Light signing out. <laughs>